Sister Nkiro Bonna. She's here to give thanks to God for preserving the life of our daughter. How many of us remember this woman and the daughter? Early this year, her daughter was diagnosed of lymphoma, that's cancer of the lymph. Here in Omaya, she met her daddy who did pray for her daughter for a successful surgery. Prior to the first surgery, the doctor informed her that out of the three lymph nodes found in her result, that they managed to remove only one. That she will also require another surgery for the rest of the two lymph nodes. A month later, they noticed that the left side of the neck, where the surgery took place, started swelling again. They took her to Enugu for the second surgery, which was also successful. Now, the mind-blowing thing is that the result of the diagnosis came out in February, and the specialist informed them that it's not cancer of the lymph, that what her daughter is suffering from is Dolphman, that is disease of the lymph node, not cancer of the lymph. To the glory of God, since March, they have been going for a checkup, and the doctor finally informed them last month that the remaining part, that's the remaining last lymph node that was inflamed, was dissolved totally. <laughs> Praise house. I don't think you understand this testimony. Two of those lymph went out by surgery, but the last one, by the power of God, dissolved on its own without surgery. Power, who would have done this? Jesus, the center of power, and to the glory of God, she has stopped taking medications, and they are here to return all the glory to God for perfecting their healing. Let me tell you something. When you see the hand of God, even the doctors continue to change their reports. Yes, they change their reports because the Lord has stepped in. One of the word feasts we finished and we're going. I saw a uh, cry. Okay, cry. I didn't know the husband was there. And uh, she was saying she needed help. I said, we don't try. It should be early this year, right? Yes. I said, we don't try. We have done food outreach, whatever. Because initially, I didn't want to pay attention to them. The mama said, I should pay attention to her. I said, they should come because there are times this ministry is committed to helping people also financially. So we took offering, right? For the surgery to be conducted. We took offering, then we added prayer. When I looked at this girl, I know my wife told me, this thing, the surgery or whatever they are doing, they call it, is it palliative or something? What do you call it? Palliative. Say so if it's cancer, it's, there's nothing. And then they say it was cancer. Huh? Yes. They said it was cancer. So we gave money as a church and we prayed. God, do the one you will do. Let's do the one we will do. Okay, look at it to tell you how God is working. After the first surgery, they came here for uh, Thanksgiving. Sister Obunan Kiu, she's here to thank God for a successful surgery of her daughter, Ms. Chidema Obona. Last year, October, the daughter was diagnosed of lymphoma. That's cancer of the lymph node around the neck area. In one of the Tuesday word face, she approached her father for financial support because she was duped of the money meant for the surgery. Her father granted a wish and extended the financial support to her. And today, the surgery has been conducted and it is successful. She is here to give God all the glory. The next thing we heard is that they needed to go for another surgery. They are going to another surgery. Cancer moved from cancer to what? Disease. So it means they went back, they couldn't see cancer again.
What doctors confirm to be cancer change? They say it's not disease. They did the second one and they require how many surgeries? Three. They did the second one. Now when they went for the second one, the Lord himself told show that is his hand that changed cancer. He conducted, because if God didn't do that surgery, you take it like by his hand, he conducted the third surgery. What a mighty God we serve. You know why I'm so excited? You know why I'm so excited? When you look at this girl that time, you'll be seeing her like one who will die later. And do you know that even the money they save for surgery, someone duped them. Yes. Someone duped them. And they didn't have money. That was why we contributed money in church to pay for the surgery. You know why I came out? I am so excited because in those days, when you look at this girl, you know what she was going through. You'll be looking at her and say, I don't know when she will die. Only faith will make you believe she will live. What a mighty and a merciful father. Power. Let's lift our two hands. Let's lift our two hands. Father, we are not ungrateful. That you can heal cancer. You can also do such. You removed cancer. You conducted one of the surgeries by yourself. We praise your name. The doctor said they saw cancer. Going back after prayer, they didn't see cancer again. We are not ungrateful. Only you deserve the praise. We glorify your name. Thank you for sparing our life. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen.